Jim Stewart from Powell, Ohio, in the hot seat right now, man of many talents, uh, ramp worker for a major airline, painting contractor, poet, and uh, wife Dee right behind her. How did you meet Dee? Well, we were in college, and I was a busboy at her sorority house. And, you uh, were a busboy at her sorority house? Well, when you're a college student, it was a good way to get free food. And meet a lot of girls, too. Well, that came in handy, too. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> were you a good busboy? Yeah, the house mother really liked me, uh -huh. so I stuck around for a while. It's good to be liked by the house mother. <laughs> yeah, they like give you that extra food. Yeah, and it uh, looks like you took advantage of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on, Jim, I said. <laughs> oh, Jim, having a little fun. That's all right. I'm having fun, too. All right, so now, so how did you meet uh, Dee, though? That's she the actually question. asked me out. She asked you out? To go to one of her dances, she thought I'd be a fun date that stuck around forever. And she and, asked me out. And I guess it turned out okay, but was it a fun date that first night? Yes, it was, absolutely. Okay, did, did the house mother approve? She didn't know how fun it was. <laughs> <laughs> that much fun, huh? <laughs> All right, Jim. Now, look, you're doing just fine here. You got your three lifelines. You won a thousand, ten away from a million, going for two thousand, so let's play. Here we go. According to the song Summertime, from the musical Porgy and Bess. How is the living? Crazy, lovely, easy, happy. Just sing it to yourself. I don't even know where the hell it goes. Um, it's early, but I want to stay in this seat, so I'll use a lifeline to pull the audience. Okay, we can do that. Audience, need a little help here for Jim? According to the song Summertime, from Porgy and Bess, how is the living? On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. <laughs> kind of overwhelming, but 86% feel the, the living was easy. Well, at least there was a couple people who didn't know what it was besides <laughs> me. I think I'll go with C, easy. I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> Want to make that your final answer? It's final answer. Yeah, the audience right again, right out of the money, $2,000. Summertime and the living is happy. No, it doesn't work at all. Okay, listen, nine away from a million. Here it comes for $4,000. In Spanish, the word pollo means what? Beef, chicken, pork, fish. Final answer would be B, chicken. Confident? Yes. Got it for 4000 Up to $8,000. What was the nickname for President Reagan's military project, the Strategic Defense Initiative? Star Wars, Sky Dome, Space Shield, Close Encounters. A, Star Wars. Final answer. You said it. You got it right for $8,000. Seven away now from that million dollars. Sixteen thousand dollars, and this is what it looks like. One of these artists has never sung the title song for a James Bond movie. Paul McCartney, Sheena Easton, Duran Duran, Eric Clapton. I know Paul McCartney has. I know Sheena Easton has. I'm not sure about Duran Duran. But you're sure about the first two? First two I'm pretty sure about. I know they have. Well? You could always call for a 50-50 and see if uh, anybody remains there. Or you could phone a friend. I think I'd like to use a 50-50. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, computer, take away two of those wrong answers, please. E. Eric Clapton. Never sung a title song for a James Bond movie. Correct. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah, you're right. He's doing good. He's going for $32,000 when we come back.